Hey, what's up guys? It's Del Vinci, and today I'm about to break down how I produced Everywhere by 10K Duncan and Juni. So I produced this beat last year, I think around in January, February time, and um, they recorded the song on the beat, and uh, you know I produced it, and I also uh, mixed the song too in Pro Tools. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I made the beat and also how I mixed the song in Pro Tools. So um, yeah, we're first gonna start out with the beat. Um, if you guys haven't heard the song, this is uh, what the beat sounds like. So yeah, it's basically just a pretty simple plug beat. Um, I'm gonna start breaking it down. <clears throat> okay, so first I start out with these chords in Purity, and I use the uh, the Tyne EP2 piano. So this is what it sounds like, and these are the chords. Okay, so once I had those, I took a, what is this? I got an ocarina out of purity and layered it with it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, the next sound I used was an Electro X. Um, it's an arpeggiator called Lord of the Ring. And um, yeah, just one note, pretty simple. Electro X has a lot of really good arpeggiator sounds and a, really lot, a lot of dope pads as well. So um, after that, I basically took the chords and copy pasted them into another Electro X. And I guess I used um, the one heart pad uh, it says custom. I'm pretty sure this is not a custom sound. I'm pretty sure this is just a preset. But yeah, uh, this is what it sounds like. But yeah, that's the um, that's pretty much the melody. Uh, and then from there, I had a hi hat. Just a, a four step hi hat. Um, I had a plug clap. And what I actually did on the clap is that I put a fruity love filter on it to uh, make it go from like a. It's basically like a low pass filter going, modulating like up and down. But um. Yeah, so after that, just had a snare. Had a bongo. Um, I had a uh, chant, then I had this uh, 808. I guess I had one more chant too. And yeah, that's basically all all the sounds. That's the whole beat. Really simple. The last thing I did is just arrange it a little bit. And I put uh, my second tag right here uh, at the end of the first verse. Da Vinci got the call. Let's see. And then on the master, I just put a fruity limiter on and put the gain up a lot. And that's something that um, I like to do in plug beats is just turn the gain up a lot on free limiter. Um, and yeah, man, that's pretty much the beat. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the sounds I use to produce, whether it's drums or loops, I have uh, some sound kits available on my website, davinci.com. Check them out. I got videos previewing all the sounds within them. But uh, yeah, so that's the beat. We're going to move over to Pro Tools now. 
and I'm going to show you guys how I mix this song. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back here in Pro Tools. I'm going to basically run through really quick of how I mix this song. Um, so quick disclaimer, this is like a really old mix that I did last year. It's not the best. Um, and anyone who knows Pro Tools, um, this template is actually, or this session is actually really messy. Um, like, for example, I was using Waves Tune. I didn't have the real Auto Tune back then. Um, also, like, when I got the session sent to me, the template was a little crazy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and real quick, too, the original song that, that whoever engineered the original song, it sounded really, really, like, bad. It sounded like they recorded it off an of iPhone speaker. So I was just like, man, it's, it's kind of, it was honestly, like, undroppable. So I was like, man, I have to go in here and try to clean it up a little bit. So that's what I did. Uh, I got it sound pretty, pretty clean. Probably could have done a little better, but um, yeah. So we're gonna get straight into it. So first, uh, is I'm gonna go over how I mix 10K's part. Okay, so first off, um, on his main vocals, I had an R Vox on, basically just a gate to get rid of any uh, background noise, and uh, yeah, I was I, I was using this mainly as just like a gate, um, and what a gate is, it cuts out any sounds under a certain uh, decibel range. I'm not really too sure how to describe it, but Essentially what I usually use it for uh, in like mixing or recording or engineering is usually just to like cut out any background noise under a certain like threshold level. All right, next um, I had a EQ. I guess the engineer actually did this EQ and it was pretty fire. Basically just boosting the high end a little bit and cutting out some low end. Um, next, just the R compressor, compressing his vocals a little bit. Delete till we change up the plan. Hop in that coupe and I'm doing it there. I'm chasing that bad. These fuck niggas mad. It's horribly bad. She got. It's actually interesting because this, com <laughs> this compressor isn't actually doing anything. Not really too sure why it's there. But, um, anyways, next, uh, Waves Tune, which is basically like a cheaper version of Auto Tune. It's not as good as the real Auto Tune, but it still gets the job done. And it's what I had at the time. Um, and then another R Vox, basically just to uh, boost the volume of the vocals a little bit. Uh, then we got basic sends like a uh, quarter note delay, half note delay, um, like a slap delay, reverb, parallel compression. Um, pretty much the same exact thing on the Adlibs too. The only difference is that there's a telephone effect on them. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a little, for this song, there was a lot of background noise uh, in the recording, so it was kind of hard to cut a lot of it out, so I just try to blend it in as best as possible. Um, yeah, so that's basically 10K's part. Oh, uh, then I had it, in, uh, I had all his vocals around to a bus, where it's just like basic stuff, like a de-esser, R compressor. Um, another EQ, uh, a CLA compressor, C6 multiband compressor, um, what is this, resistance, AXX, this is kind of like a, I guess like a, it's, I don't even know how to describe it, it's kind of like a compressor, like saturator kind of thing, uh, then I had a, an SL channel EQ, uh, another <laughs> compressor, and then this MV2 just to boost the volume, or to compress a little bit more. Yeah, like, you can tell this is an old mix because there's a lot of unnecessary stuff on here that I wouldn't particularly do now. But, um, yeah, so that's basically 10K's part. Sounds pretty clean uh, with the beat over it. We count the rockets for fun. Money just going and come. Niggas want to live my lifestyle. Okay, so for Junie's part, uh, pretty much same thing, you know, auto tune, compression, EQ, RVox, um, and I had it had it routed to a vocal bus with a DSer, compressor, EQ, um, CLA compressor, multiband compressor, 
saturator type thing <laughs> and uh of course like reverb sends delay sends etc um and that's pretty much it to be honest like the other thing i did on here let's see i did a few beat cuts like right here and Rocky's full fire. Oh, let me show you guys like right here i did a beat cut or actually i did like a wind down Money just going and come. Niggas want to live my lifestyle. Most of these niggas, my son. Free on my dog. Basically, how I did that is that what you do is you highlight the part you want to do the little slow down, speed up effect on. You go to audio suite, uh, pitch shift, uh, verify, uh, slow down, and then you render it. And then, Money just going and come. And that one part, you see. You slowed it down right there, and you know we could have done it like a little longer too if you wanted. Like, we could have done. It like Money just going and come. Niggas want. But um, I thought it was better like faster, so that's what I did. Um, what else do we do on this? Oh yeah, so yeah, a few beat cuts. Then over here for like the outro. Um, I basically just had like a EQ. It's a little off actually. Yeah, just to like, you know, a little bit of a vibe. And then um, at the end here, I guess I just faded out the beat. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. Like, pretty. This is a, like I said, this is an old mix. It's not as good as a mix I would do now. Just wanted to put that out there. But it's still pretty cool, man. Like, I would definitely say if you're a producer, you should 100% learn how to use Pro Tools and how to mix and engineer in it because a lot of the songs I did this year was I actually engineered, recorded them. Uh, let's say an artist gets on one of my beats and like the mixing isn't too good. Or not that it's not good, but like I have a vision for it bringing to the next level or whatnot. Like I can always have the artist send me the vocals, mix them. Uh, yeah, I mean like it's, it's just a great skill to have to know how to use Pro Tools because like Imagine this, imagine if you're in the room with your favorite artist, right? And they're, they're, they want to hop on your beats, but no one there is an engineer, no one there knows how to engineer. Like, you're kind of screwed because the artist can't record on your beats because no one knows how to use Pro Tools. But if you learn how to use it, uh, and it could be Pro Tools, FL, Logic, I think Pro Tools is the best for recording vocals, but yeah, it's. I would definitely say it's a good skill to have, man, because you know, you'll get more placements, you'll be able to mix songs. It's, it's amazing, man. It's one of the best skills I learned as a producer. But anyway, guys, that's the, um, that's a whole breakdown of how I produced and mixed this song. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try to do some more breakdowns like this, too, like where I show how I mix songs and Pro Tools and stuff like that. If you guys like this, make sure to subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Um, and like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in any of my sounds, uh, link in description to my website. I got a bunch of sound kits out with loops. Uh, drum kits, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.